this point it's uh, causing problems on my PC. Many procs. Is this the highest here? We have no idea. I'll figure it out here in a sec. If I, if I win against the boss. It was a little dangerous maneuver, but looks like we're fine. The stagger stun is just so insane. Let's go. 200, clear. I had Lilith did her waves. We dodged it though. Okay. That's good. What are we getting here? 400. And another 400. 870. 200, clear. GG. Spin bar, does it go higher? Did it say unlock? Didn't really get anything special. That's it! Highest tier! We're done! <laughs> well, uh, that's it then, guys! We have a pretty funny build. Highest tier, done. What can I say? First try. You beat the game. Tier Season 5, good build. I'll walk you through my build here in a sec. Oh yeah, it goes, C creates a couple of twisters, even here on non-targets. I think even if I don't attack, like watch this, it's here, like these guys just attack me. Boom. <laughs> I don't even do anything. <laughs> it just creates twisters, man. Oh yeah, these dudes. Woof. More? You want to see more? There's some dudes here. Okay. <laughs> they don't even have to attack, man. It just creates them automatically. Now that's the build, my friends. 200. Everything done. Is that a blast wave flying? We did PvP already earlier. You might have missed it. Vloop. Oh, these little bats got destroyed. Okay, that stuff is actually pretty insane, like, you know, you have a mechanic here, when they hit you, you generate fury. When you generate fury, you spawn many twisters. Look at this. It's very simple. They hit you, they're fucked up. Yes. Okay, so I think... Yeah, it's a world boss, and while we're waiting for the world boss, I'll explain you this build. Because it's pretty pork. Trust. So this is the Whirlwind Twister Bar, my friends. 200 done, highest tier. That's it. We did Uber Duriel with this build. I don't know why the pit only goes to 200. Yeah, it's, it's kept at 200. Okay, the planner is gonna be in the description, guys. Oh, they have one. I just need to uh, make the priority in there. Okay, so the main principle of the build is this item here. Whenever you generate fury, you spawn dust devils. There's a couple more items here. Whenever you cast double swing, you also spawn dust devils. And whenever you shout, you also spawn dust devils. But mainly we scale our fury. So we generate more fury, and then our next direct damage 
creates more Dust Devils. And um, basically the Dust Devils deal direct damage and they the Dust Devils create more Dust Devils. On top of that, there is this 60% chance for Dust Devils to cast twice, so you get even more Dust Devils. So the Dust Devils proc more Dust Devils. And that's pretty much the combination. And then we are stacking Fury on kill at the moment. And uh, whenever we kill a monster, we also have a bunch of resource generation. Together with uh, Rallying Cry, together with Wrath the Berserk. And with all this resource generation, um, every time we get a tick of Fury or we kill a monster, we spawn three Dust Devils that then have a more than 100% chance to spawn more Dust Devils. And they also have a more size. And the size is a multiplier. So we're getting like insane DPS um, with all of that stuff. And then we have one here for crazy sustain because we have a lot of attack speed. We heal whenever we cast a skill. We play accelerating, so whenever we cast a core skill, which is our double swing, which also spawns dust devils, um, we get more stuff. And sometimes here you can see like, I think there's too many people here now. Our dust devil, uh, our double swing spawns dust devils. And right now we're playing this one for fortify. This one for crit. Yeah, we don't even have any Dust Devils, but even without Dust Devils here, I think there was too many players. The World Boss is still toast. It's attacking normally. That's how you kill the World Boss. I think it's too many players here. No more Dust Devils. Yeah, and the rest of the items, this is basically what we get Fortify. Um, then we have Leap. Whenever we leap, we create earthquakes. These earthquakes give us damage reduction, and they also deal direct damage to proc even more twisters. This is a resolution. This is how it always should be. Yes. Okay. Now we're working again. I think it was just too many people there. And yeah, then whenever we cast our shouts, we get cooldown back, and uh, whenever we cast leap, we get um, cooldown resets. That's how we can perma leap on the boss already. Nine seconds. A world boss not fixed, of course. And that's pretty much the build. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. You definitely need Dust Devil Size and Dust Devil Cast Twice Chance. And then a bunch of resource generation and a bunch of Fury on kill. You can get it on both weapons and on both rings. And I don't even have the uh, Ancient Rolls here. Or the Empowered ones. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff to get. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty insane build. And then we're playing Axe Mastery. Uh, skill trees looking like this. So rock and five and dust uh, in double swing, triple shot, and a bunch of defensive stuff. You, you will need the defense uh, for pit level 200. And uh, concussion here for stunning. Also our leap, also CCs, and uh, unconstrained for the berserking cooldown. And then Paragon, I'm gonna remove the filter here. We also went pretty defensively with exploit, territorial, um, hungering fury, core reserve. I was planning on actually using Ramalaldis, that's why I'm scaling Fury, and I might still do that, we'll see. Then we have the Twister, he has the Big Lift, 500% additive, 1.13 multiplier. Marshall here for cooldowns, Ira here for Berserking, we should be hitting the 1.3 here. We got that, not even sure if I might not even be overkill. Now we're actually pretty good. And then we have the Ambidextrous. Or just see, I have like more bleed here, and we're gonna proc that bleed and more DR um, with one point in toughest nets, one point in outburst. It always works. And yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the play, my friends. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to clear, you know, some pit runs with this, and uh, like this clearly just blasts the highest pit. Like 200 is the cap, and we just did 200. And yeah, we'll test a lot more different builds. I also want to retest the Hoda Bob, um, but I think next will be like a pure like Leap Quake version. My amulet is undying, but yeah, you can see here we cannot uh, get higher tier. And undying is uh, for crazy healing. But yeah, pretty cool build. Dust Devils, I don't know how many per second we are creating, but about 100 and uh, they all hit for like uh, two, 2 million. Let's go. Enjoy, my friends. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.